today's class what we will do i have one of the vcenter server appliance which is currently running on 6.7 so i want to upgrade this appliance from 6.7 to 7.0 okay for that we'll see a couple of prerequisites that we need to keep in mind while upgrading the appliances and there are a couple of other options are available if you want to upgrade your 6.7 or 6.5 v centers to 7.0 okay so i just poured on the appliance it's it gonna take some time to start up the application and bring the v center service up and running so meanwhile what we will do is we will discuss few things or few prerequisites what we need to make sure in order to upgrade v center server appliance or v center server from your legacy versions or the previous versions to 7.0 okay so let's see the brief upgrade plan what they are suggesting on the flowchart if you want to do an upgrade follow these steps we need to take a configuration backup in the sense we set the server appliance you need to log in and take a backup into some location so that if something goes wrong you can roll back quickly okay and then upgrade the vCenter later on the plan for upgrade the ESXi host okay and later on upgrade the virtual machine and their other appliances hardware version this is what the simple flowchart represents but before that we need to make sure some of the interoperability or or we can say compatibility metrics okay this you need to keep in mind before planning for any upgrade activity let's say okay for example i have some v center which is running on 6.7 right and I have a two clusters, just an example. If I have a two clusters, one is running on 6.7 and a few hosts that are running on 6.5 within the cluster. And there is another cluster running on 6.0. Okay, in that case, if you are planning to upgrade the vCenter from 6.7 to 7.0, upon the upgrade, you will lose the management operations for this cluster okay so as far as i know or i haven't checked the documentations for the for the uh, n minus one or n minus two n minus three compatibilities but as far as my uh, previous experience and my knowledge n minus two is the compatibility for any version so if i am running on 7.0 i believe it can support 6.7 host and 6.5 host not 6.0 so if you are planning for 7.0 my recommendation is first you plan to upgrade these clusters from 6.0 to 6.5 or at least else plan for 6.7 before you plan to upgrade your v center otherwise it is difficult for you to manage or post upgrade issues that is one thing which, which we call it as host compatibility metrics another one is there is another compatibility metrics vm compatibility when i say virtual machine compatibility virtual machine has an operating model where hardware version will keep a major role or, or hardware version will play a major role when you are planning to uh, deploy any virtual machine on this cluster probably i'll say 11 is the hardware version and let's say if it is a 15 so you'll not get the latest features if you're running something on 6.0 so but this is little relaxation here you can still run those vms on 7.0 but you won't get the latest features but if you want to avail the latest features on a latest uh, version features what 7.0 has given us so you need to plan to upgrade the hardware version for your virtual machines, but you can plan it later on, even after the upgrade. Okay, let's see the documentation, what they're suggesting. So you have some of the upgrade options, example upgrade path for vCenter 6.7 and 6.7. See, there's no where they mention the 6.0. So N minus two, I believe it's, it is the same. 
right? And from Windows to something. So 6.5 or 6.7, you have two operational models. One is Windows vCenter. That means you have a Windows virtual machine or physical server. On top of it, you have a vCenter appliance running or a vCenter server deployed and running on top of Windows. Or you have another model called vCenter server appliance on 6.5 and 6.7 both. So if you want to upgrade your appliance, there's one method. If you want to upgrade your Windows vCenter server to 7.0, because in 7.0, there's only one option which is vCenter server appliance. There is no second option called vCenter server so that you can deploy a Windows server and run a 7.0. There, there is no such options available. As of now, only appliance is available for the deployment. Okay, so what I will do, let me go back to my base ESXi. Where is it? My base ESXi is running on 6.5 and I have vCenter server and Active Directory server running on 6.5. My bad. Let's try. Okay. Right. So let me log in into the vCenter first and see. This is my vCenter 6.7 appliance. Come on. Here you go. Administrator. This dot local. There is another portal called Prime Four Eight Zero. This one. So, what you can do, you can log in into Appliance Management Portal with the root credentials. It will directly allow you to log in into Appliance Management Portal. You can check the health check, health check status and all and on which version your appliance is running and the type of deployment right and you have some of the options if you want to perform and if you go to the main thing is go to backup you need to configure a backup into some location provide the cfs share or smb share location and take a backup it is suggesting some 500 mb the whole vcenter appliance is around 500 mb Inventory and configuration 503 and the rest of the vCenter tasks that I have performed the events and other stuff that is saved in the Postgres SQL database it might be a 41 MB. So overall, let's say 600 MB is my appliance size. As of now, it is not that big, but in your production environment, it might be different. You'll see 15, 16 gig or 100 gigs of your database and appliances. You need to handle it. So if something goes wrong, the appliance will go down and you don't have any choice to revert it back. So the first prerequisite is take a backup from here. Once that is done, let's go ahead and see vCenter host and clusters. As I mentioned earlier, you might have a two clusters and please plan to upgrade the 6.0 host prior to the upgrade of your vCenter because once the vCenter is upgraded to 7.0, you will definitely lose the connectivity for your 6.0 cluster. Whether you have one or two hosts or only bare minimum legacy hosts that you are running with the three hosts and a few virtual machines running on a legacy platforms, still the mandatory thing is you need to have them upgraded, right? So license is upgraded. I'm not sure whether it is going to work or not. Let's try it. Okay, so this is my appliance. I want to upgrade this. So what I did on this server itself, I have mounted the vCenter server 7.0 appliance. And let me go here and run the installer. Okay, so the virtual CD is mounted on my Active Directory domain. 
So you have a couple of options here. So what I will do, I will upgrade the existing vCenter server appliance, which is running on 6.7 to 7.0. So let's follow the steps more of self-explanatory let's see it's more of next next finish only but let's see how it works okay next this is the appliance which i'm planning to upgrade and connect to the source yes it is trying to query the dns and trying to connect to the appliance yeah connected and it is asking for the login password okay i'll provide and the appliance root password and this is my base esxi appliance where the appliance is sitting this is my base ESXi, base esxi which is running on 6.5 all right okay let's give the password Next, okay. Now, what you're doing, you are trying to upgrade the existing 6.7. So for this, what, you, what, it, what the system will do, system will temporarily deploy one 6. Uh, sorry, 7.0 appliance on the same ESXi host. Okay, let me provide the credentials so that this system will go or this application will go and deploy one 7.0 vCenter server appliance for a temporary purpose then it will upgrade the existing one there are two steps step one do the deployment step two perform the upgrade let it validate done now what it is saying the target vCenter server name I'll say one because it is already there the root password set the root password okay next now it is asking for what kind of deployment that you're looking at i'm looking at tiny because it's a lab and the default storage somewhere you need to make sure the thin provisioning otherwise you're running out of space yeah so here Enable thin disk mode, otherwise you will go mad. Select SSD. Okay. SSD, which is having more free space. Next. And I'll put it on uh, VM network. Okay. And the temporary IP address. In a sense, what it will do, it will temporarily deploy one vCenter 7 dot zero appliance and it will talk to existing 6.7 vcenter server appliance and perform the upgrade once the source system is upgraded then you can ignore or discontinue or remove the appliance the temporarily deployed 7.0 appliance from the esxi host or the vcenter so what I'll do, I'll temporarily assign one IP. Okay, where my just a moment, I completely forgot the IP details. DSA. Domain. Uh, right, DNS. Okay, go to forward up zone and 30.50 yeah so what i will do i'll use the same range so i'll put it on vlan 30 and static ip only 192.168.30.101 some random because i'm not sure which one is free and which one is already utilized 68 30.50 and 192 IP config is that right 168 30.55 next done okay 
so what it is doing it is deploying one temporary staging vcenter 7.0 appliance let's go back and see find the inventory path and it is importing some app here two percent deployed so it is deploying with this name currently zero space utilized so it will take some time to deploy so let's see seven percent deployed so far what i will do i will pause the recording meanwhile once this is 100 percent completed then we will resume it and continue with the upgrade okay let me pause this okay so let's see if you look at it, it is saying waiting for rpm installation to start this may take several minutes means appliance deployment is done it is trying to spin up the base linux rpms on the back end if you go back and see on the base host yeah it is powered on okay let me refresh and see it is deployed and appliance is being now it is still starting okay so it is deploying the packages on the back end so it will take some more time okay so once the package deployment is done on the backend Linux appliance part, it will say the deployment is finished. Then the appliance is now ready for the configuration. All right. So let's wait until this finishes. Okay. Let's resume. So if you look at the deployment is now successful. It took almost like 10 minutes. So I kept the video in pausing mode and if you look at the appliances now totally up and running so what i need to do continue with the further steps the second step is deployment for base center okay so let's continue into vCenter so deployment has been completed now we need to continue with the second step upgrade the source vCenter which is running on 6.7 next connect to the source and it is performing the upgrade checks hopefully fingers crossed you should not throw the license errors Otherwise, we don't have any option to get the license and do it. Come on. Um, it finishes with the pre upgrade check checks. Okay. You people will get a headache. Can't do much. We have to wait. To minimize and see. Let's see what is the utilization. I hope it will be more than. 60% of your overall system capacity because I have 32 gig system, 81% is used in your memory. <clears throat> Still performing, can't do much. You have to wait. It's all these things. If you look at some of the warnings uh, that popped up, files cannot used. Copied. Okay. Files cannot be used with the upgrade. Will not be copied onto the source. These files include the baselines and stuff. What we have. Okay. Fine. And 
resolutions it's okay i'm agree and now it is showing select the data that you want to copy from source we center the data size has shown below represents only the data which is copied to the target server it does not correspond to the actual size of the data on the source server the identity of the server will also be copied and the source server will remain unchanged that's okay so fix everything okay so it is just saying 1.85 gb for configuration inventory if you include task and events that is performed by 6.7 and performance metrics calculated by 6.7 if you want to copy everything yeah i need to copy everything man all right next for now no okay now the source server is this and the target server is this okay and the post upgrade again it will be renamed with the same server name let's see the data copied entire matrix around 1.97 gb check the backup i'm saying i took a backup even if it is crashed it's okay i will take care as you're confirming right finish okay the source v center will be shut down once the network configuration is enabled on the destination okay to continue yes okay so upgrade is being initiated let's see we have to wait until this gets finished and let's look at the block diagram or in a pictorial notation what it is being performed so what is doing it is copying data from source v center to destination v center that's okay so let me go back and see imagine you have v center server running on one esxi host i have one vcenter server which is running on 6.7 the name is xyz that's okay it is in production since ages okay now what i did i simply deployed one more server called 7.0 with some temporary ip that is temporary ip is 101 if you recollect okay now what it is doing initially how i deployed i have one active directory server on this server i have the iso mounted so from here i have initiated and connected to initiated the vcenter server appliance upgrade activity and connected to the base esxi okay now in order to upgrade this the first step is mount the iso on some some windows server and connect to base esxi and it will temporarily deploy 7.0 appliance and it will install all the packages so so far what we did this step one once the step one is done step two is upgrade the existing one so what it will do it will create a copy of this and it will deploy it onto this once the data is copied if i say data the old legacy vcenter server appliance inventory right and the task and performance charts whatever the things that he had it has performed since last one year or two years based on your customer environment now everything will be copied onto 7.0 once the data has been copied successfully what it will do it will take the ip and the configuration details of this appliance and it will apply to this once everything is applied it will automatically shut down this machine or this appliance and it will start this appliance now this will be your tar target machine or i can say target vcenter server upgraded 7.0 appliance along with along with legacy vcenter server data that means it has entire history of last two years what the 6.7 is doing and the latest upgraded appliance so what you can do once your upgrade is done you can simply log in and see your vcenter 
is as it is running with some host or cluster or any other inventory and objects that it has. That is what the expected outcome of this upgrade. Let's see, once the upgrade data copying is done, it will start the services on the target machine and import the data onto the target machine. We're gonna take, as it's mentioned, around 30 minutes. So what I will do, I'll again pause this video. Once this every, every single step is completed, we'll resume the video and see how the upgrade is done. And later on, we'll log in and see the post checks, right? So let me pause this video once again. Okay, if you look at the copying the data from source vCenter, which is 6.7 to the target vCenter server, which is 7.0 is now completed. And what it is doing, it is bringing the services on the target vCenter server. So let me see. This is target. Okay, and once this is completely upgraded and the services has been migrated. You will see the IP. IP will be re IP'd with 30.50. That is what the expected outcome. Okay, let's see. Let's look at four point. Postgres. Let's see, even this is gonna take a little time. So let me pause this once again. Finally, stage two is about to finish. I took around that again, 15 minutes to complete the system services to start, right? So a few more minutes and see how much time it's gonna take for the step three. For the final step, you can say in traditional way, you can say this as a cutover. What it will do, first step, it copy the data from source to destination and the second step, it bring the services up and running and the third step, what it is saying, whatever the data that is copied from the first step, it is going to import into the target. So again, around 15 minutes to stop the services oh, I'm sorry start the services now again it is saying stopping the content library services to import okay let's see once this is finished no probably it's the last step and it will be able to access the recent server plans uh, very quickly very shortly in one hour let's say another 10 minutes or so because copying or loading one and a half GB won't take much time. It's, yeah, as expected, it's moving faster than what we expect. You never know. Likely 100% or it will struck at 30 for next half an hour. Okay, update manager data. There are some of the images that are there in the content library. The baselines and stuff. Importing the center server data. Okay. Nothing much hardly. Three hosts and few virtual machines. So it shouldn't take longer than two or three minutes. Right. The system behavior refresh. Put on Log one. Okay, let's go to on virtual machines. This is pathetic 6.5 graphics. It is already turned off. Oh, it is already turned off. And the server is now okay. old 6.7 is already turned off. Let's see. OK, 
Okay, still 50% to complete. Let's hang on here. Look at the last 15% executing post upgrade components. I don't know what it is doing. CP close. Close. Right. Hopefully, it is successful. Yeah. If you look at GUI is changed and administrator. Local and the password. Okay, and see what it is showing. It just reload and advanced is it directly. Yeah, it is also there. Administrator, right? Whisper.local, the same URL nothing has been changed over here reloading refresh okay let's go to root and log in to the appliance management and see what's going on now we see the same appliance and is on 7.0. Okay, it and the vCenter server perfect 7.0. That's okay. Tiny VCSA. You see the cluster. Let's click on a cluster. Clusters are on the host where it is. These are 6.7 host that I know, right? So now the vCenter server appliance upgrade has been completed. Last completed. Okay. Now the next step is you need to plan for the host upgrades, and that has a different mechanism. If I go to menu and lifecycle manager somehow, yeah, lifecycle manager. Lines. Yeah, you see the older baselines. What I have done. Okay, and some of the older baselines that is showing up here. That means yeah, everything is completed over here. Let's go to monitor. We got nothing. If you look at the other logs, the previous logs, what, what all the operations that I have performed on this cluster earlier, everything is there. So, entire data has been migrated from your legacy 6.7 to the latest 7.0. Let's see. This is the IP. I believe the IP will be. 101 how come it's 101 man it should be something different it should not say it going to be it's going to be uh, temporary ip when, I, when i'm deploying the appliance what it said this is going to be a temporary temporary ip for the deployment but it is showing now it is 101 let me go back to dns see reload csa 30.50 how come it is working on 101 strange if it is showing us 30.50 here okay let me ping ping 192 168 30.50 
one zero one no that means the same ip the same name which is taking what gui is showing is this gui is wrong information https whatever the ip 192.168.30.101 is the wrong ip that's a temporary ip if you reboot it that will go away right so in short a couple of findings a couple of things that things to be noted so the same configuration what the existing vcenter appliance has ip and name everything copied over and this has been shut down it's of no use now and you should not even power on even if you power on you won't get anything maybe the duplicate ip you'll get it so you can leisurely delete this appliance after 30 days if you feel like everything is okay on the 7.0 and the no errors reported by the 7.0 system on the compatibilities and other stuff okay so in short this is this is how we can upgrade the center server appliance from 6.7 to 7.0 okay. look at the steps and you still have a couple of things to make a note after the host uh, after the vcentral server appliance upgrade you still need to undertake your host upgrades and your virtual machine uh, as per the compatibility matrix i'm talking about as per the compatibility matrix you have to upgrade the virtual machine hardware as well these are the two things you need to plan it afterwards okay so with this i will stop here and let me go back to the channel there are a few questions that people are posting here let me see some of the questions from people have asked about come on yeah let me pause this so kindly do add interview questions based on the topic it will be very useful thanks okay what i will do in the next video i'll try to collate some of the basic interview questions that you'll expect in terms of virtualization and your day-to-day -day operations the VMware 6.5 or 6.7 whatever the version right so the day-to-day -day operations or the job roles will not change right so what I'll try to consolidate some of the questions and I'll create one more video on the same right this I'll stop here you guys have any questions you can comment on the section Okay, let me stop here. Thank you.